Congratulations, you got the win again. Easy. It was a nice race, that. Yeah, it, it very much resembled uh, my Croft win last year. Um, so it was it was nice. I obviously nice to uh, lead Ash as well. Normally it was the other way around last year, so nice to have that uh, reverse. But yeah, massive credit to the team. My little rocket ship was absolutely flying this weekend. So a huge thank you to MB Motorsport. WSR and everyone at BMW for this fantastic result. I was chatting with uh, with one of the very long-standing members of WSR um, on the grid. He said he cannot remember a race where his driver's been on pole, right at the back, on pole, and then gets the win. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a shame for us as a team because we've been so up and down collectively this weekend. But the main thing is the pace is there. We know that the car is very good, and we've definitely got a car that we can, um, you know, we can we can challenge this title for. So that's what it's all about. And, and that really starts here, doesn't it? It does, and it starts with that, you know, that recoup that we did then. You know, we, we managed to come back um, all the way back from last on the grid for the start of race two, and we're here on the, in the winner's circle for the last race. It's fantastic. Well done. Well done, you. Um, and well done also. Oh, how good does that feel? You got there in the end, didn't you? The car was clearly better, that race. Yeah, it's just been chasing it all day, which is a shame, because the one that paced there yesterday was, was phenomenal. So... It's just front wheel drive, getting back into it. Um, we're learning new things. So I'm pleased with that. We deserve that with what the boys have been putting in, especially from Dan's crew as well. Obviously, they've done done a tremendous job with Dan's car. So for an operation, you guys, uh, a sterling job. It's early days yet, but how much how much work do you think you've got to do to get this car where, where you and all of the team would, would want it to be? Uh, there's still a bit. We're, we're never going to be happy unless we're where Jake is. So um, it's definitely improvement that's the key bit and we've now got some data that we can find useful and now it's about learning from it and and what's the next step how, how what, what do we need to do now to unlock a bit more well done well done on the podium um and well done uh, to josh as well um god you had to work for that one didn't you i mean it took a while to get past lloyd yeah i mean it was just the widest car i've ever come across but um i just had to keep the pressure on saved a couple of my my hybrid laps for the end and he just locked up in someone, ran, ran deep, ran off onto the exit cab, and I was like, now's my chance. So just got a nose in, and as soon as I got my foot in the door, he couldn't close it. So lucky to hold it around the outside of Craners. It's a, it's a, a tough job to, um, you know, to do that, but the car's been mega. You know, the, we, we had a really difficult day yesterday. You know, to do one lap in quali, really, and then be P16, you know, we were pretty deflated at, at this, this time yesterday. So just, you know, huge credit to the team. Really, really, uh, you know, thankful for them. They really deserve it, and... Um, you know, this is a box ticked. We need to move forward and uh, try and find a little bit of pace somewhere. How much do you think the, the addition of this, this hybrid system to touring cars has brought to the championship from a driver's perspective, but from a spectacle as well? I mean, I think it's underestimated how difficult the task of fitting the hybrid systems to these cars you know, has been for, for, for Toka, for the teams, you know, for uh, all of the suppliers. And, you know, we couldn't copy anybody. This is the first touring car championship to run a hybrid system, you know, like this as well. So, I think the fact that we're all here, we're all running, is is just a, a huge credit to the championship, and it's it adds another dimension. You know, using the hybrid to to you know either in defence, you know, to cover your weak weak areas, or to go on the offensive and, and use it in areas where you can you know, out drag a car is added a real new dynamic to to driving a, a British touring car. So, you know, we struggled anyway because um, it's not an easy task, but. Yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, I, I think this has been a really successful weekend for the championship and I'm looking forward to seeing what we can do for the rest of the year. Likewise, it's been fun to watch, so we'll see you at the next one.